Should Kyle Shanahan <laughs> be on the hot seat? You know, I think you want to take a look at it. I don't know how hot the seat is going to get with Kyle Shanahan because people are so enamored with his play calling abilities and all of this sort of stuff. But when I look at a coach, a coordinator who becomes a head coach, yes, he took him to the Super Bowl. And you just mentioned a record post-Super Bowl. Mention a record pre-Super Bowl. And look at all those things. Look at some of the draft picks that they missed on, along with my former teammate and John Lynch. But it's like we are afraid to say anything. We just going to give him a pass on where they're at. Here's what I'm going to say. Matt Nagy has a better winning percentage than Kyle Shanahan, oh, man. Oh, boy. I'm just, ain't no old boy. You, it, Mina, facts is facts. <laughs> There's no, we like to talk about numbers. Facts are facts. Plus, he's supposed to be a quarterback guru. The one great year that Matt Ryan had, and they went to the Super Bowl, Kyle Shanahan was the offensive coordinator. But Matt Ryan was still playing good before that and still played better even after that at times. They acquired Jimmy Garoppolo from the New England Patriots. Has Jimmy Garoppolo gotten any better at all, or is he the same guy that we saw in a small sample size with the New England Patriots? I'm done having a conversation. The floor is yours and Stephen A's. Keyshawn, I'd, I'd actually like to thank you now for that Matt Nagy example because you just gave America a case study in, wh in why – Win-loss record is not a good way to evaluate, frankly, a lot of things in the NFL, but coaching success. I understand it is, at the end of the day, your record does matter, but we are analysts. We can look beyond those numbers. You talked about Kyle Shanahan and his record pre-Super Bowl in San Francisco. So I, I'm happy to refresh you on what happened. He joined a team that was 2-14 and 14 before he came the head coach under Jim Tom Sula. Uh, they reeled off a winning streak at the end of the season, brought him to six wins. The next year, he loses Jimmy Garoppolo to a torn ACL at the beginning of the season. The next year, despite having a ton of injuries, they make it to the dang Super Bowl. The following year, which was last season, the San Francisco 49ers had the second most injuries using Football Outsiders adjusted games loss metric of any team in the last 20 years. It wasn't just the quarterback. It was Nick Bosa. It was Debo. I mean, this team was straight up cursed. So, of course, they've lost a ton of games under Kyle Shanahan. Now, I believe this season he does deserve scrutiny. If he does not manage the integration of Trey Lance, and you're right, this is what like his job is to elevate the quarterback, then yes, at the end of the season, we can revisit, okay, how is he done with Trey Lance? Is he integrated in this, into this offense? Trey Lance has had one start, so relax. But let me finish by saying this. We started off this segment by talking about Pete Carroll. Mm -hmm. If the San Francisco 49ers actually fired Kyle Shanahan, who I believe is one of the best play callers in the recent history of the NFL, I would drive to Los An or to probably San Francisco from you know all the way from Connecticut. I would then pick him up and then I would drive him up to Seattle and make him the head coach immediately. And I am not alone around the NFL I'm feeling that way. It, th this is what I started. Everybody keeps telling me what a great head coach he, and a play caller and all this is. stuff is, but yet and still, the quarterback hasn't been developed. And all I keep hearing is excuses about injuries. Everybody has injuries in the National Football Second League. Second most in NFL Everybody history. has missing Mina. Second Mina. most Mina. in Mina. NFL Mina. history, on, man. Let's keep it 100. Mina, Keyshawn, calm down. Well, this is your show. I just, no, no, I just think, think y'all getting a little bit too emotional here. Let me, let me try to, let me bring calm beneath the storm, okay? Let me <laughs> That's do that, me, okay? Stephen A. Let me, let me do you be that, Stephen okay? A. Okay, let me do that for y'all. Mina, let me hear, let me, here's where I'm at with this, and I need your help with this, Mina. Kyle Shanahan, I'm going to say all the things that you said in terms of the injuries he's had to endure, overcome, et cetera, et cetera. His play caller is not to be questioned supposedly, et cetera, et cetera. His record with Jimmy Garoppolo is 24 and 11. His record without Jimmy Garoppolo is 7 and 28. I've got two Super Bowls to point to. One when he was the offensive coordinator with the Atlanta Falcons. They had a 28 to 3 lead. Okay, and a 29 to 28 to 9 lead at the end of the third quarter. They lose that Super Bowl by getting outscored 25 to nothing in the fourth quarter in overtime. And then he's the head coach of the 49ers when they're up 20 to 10 in the fourth quarter and they get outscored Ooh. 21 to nothing in the fourth quarter. With him as the offensive coordinator, with leads and two Super Bowl titles on the line, in the fourth quarter, he has been outscored 46 to nothing. So so I'm saying to you, when I look at that, does that not 
add fodder to Keyshawn Johnson's argument? I, 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 I think context really matters here. We can talk about the Niners Super Bowl. The question is about the Niners. Uh, and frankly, he, they lost because Jimmy Garoppolo missed some play, missed a couple, missed a of, couple throws of throws that missed Kyle Shanahan drew up well. They lost You're because they ran into uh, the most talented quarterback in, I believe, frankly, NFL I, I, history, I, I, putting I, I, on an all-time performance. Most teams don't even get to the Super Bowl. What about and as far as his record without Jimmy Garoppolo, we're really going to judge him by how he played, uh, how the team played with Nick Mullins I, and C.J. Better, I, I just, man? You I'm can't just saying. I, I, but Sean, damn, Mina, seven and twenty-eight, seven and twenty-eight. Yeah, look I up mean, any quarterback. On, look up any head coach's record with their backup quarterbacks. I guarantee you it's about the same. Mina? I guarantee you it's the same. I I, I just can't. Win it, win it sounds... 20, 25% of their games? So are we yeah, trying to say I Jimmy G's better? I bet you, G's G's better I bet you uh, if you grab any quarterback well, in the Jimmy head coach's issue is just that he's not healthy? I think Jimmy G's good, but I don't think Shanahan's got nearly as much as he should have gotten out of that. On top of that, well, look at all the draft. Look at all the draft. Look at all the draft. He's been there. Do you watch Jimmy G? There are open receivers running across the I, middle I of the like, field. I like Jimmy G. There's a reason Jimmy G's record is impeccable when he's a starting quarterback. It ain't he's because not good. it. What well, the record <laughs> says something different. The record yeah, my says eyes something, tell me something different. something different, which is he throws to linebackers half the time. Uh, I mean, the I, record says something different. Everybody's going crazy on Jimmy G because he missed the throw in the Super Bowl and they took the ball out of his hands in the playoffs against Green Bay and Minnesota, and everybody said, oh, my God, oh, my God. No, that he's not out It's more the injury issue. That's more and the he, concern for me. He gets injured a lot. He's a, he's a bit fragile. 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 That that right now, and right now, Keyshawn, he doesn't look as good, and I don't think it'll be long before we see Trey Lance. That, and that may be the case, but I don't just look at, at the on-field performance of the players. I look at their draft picks, too. What have they actually done and hit on their draft picks? Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.